hey guys so it is saturday evening all i did this morning was work and now i'm at my cousin's she made lasagna and we're gonna make a vision board i got some materials to make our vision board i'm gonna take you guys along the process so stay tuned <laughs> So we'll make these after our supper? Yeah. Okay. that book from when I was younger. I used to have that book. Did it have a blanket in it? Yeah. Like this one? And it had the other stuff too. Strawberry. What are those? Me and your mom, we're going to make vision boards later. No? This is my cousin's vision board. Very pretty and creative. She drew all this stuff and just cut out pictures of the magazines. And then this is my little cousin's. She made a couple vision boards for herself. Very creative. And then she drew some pictures over here. And Valentine's is for love. Nice. And this is another one. She loves candy, so she wanted to manifest all kinds of candy. Something's about to happen. Good morning. So it is Sunday morning. Um, last night was a lot of fun. We did our vision boards and we had snacks and I straightened my cousin's hair for her and I blow dried it. And 
when I come back home, I'll show you guys a closer look of my vision board. I still need to add to it, but it's looking pretty good. Um, right now, I'm going to breakfast with one of my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. So I need to get out the door. And then after breakfast, I'm going to my cousin's to spend time with her, my sister, my other cousin, which is her brother, and her kids. So it's a busy weekend. It was a busy weekend for me, and it's going to be a busy day. We're going, me and my friend this morning, we're going to breakfast. We're going to a, rest, a breakfast spot called Ben and Florentine. It's pretty new. We haven't been there before. So I'm going to show you guys my scent of the day and I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So this is my scent of the day. It's very powdery and it just smells really nice. Don't mind my ashy hands. I'm going to cream them when I get into the car. So let me show you guys my outfit now. So this is my outfit of the day. I decided I wanted to wear some thigh high boots. So, yeah, so thigh high boots, this brown dress you guys probably seen before, and this leather jacket. I love this jacket. The jacket is from a Canadian store called Cleo's. My brown dress is, I can't remember where I got it. And then my heels are from Call It Spring. And then I ordered this off the Michael Kors website. I've had this for a few years now. And I absolutely love it. And my hair is in a cute bow. So let's get going. I am not gonna forget to show you guys my food this time. I am so excited to eat. I'm not hungry, but I can eat. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, I went to go hang out with my cousins, my sister, and my cousin's kids yesterday. After I was done hanging out with my friend and after we had breakfast, I went over there. And I didn't get to end the vlog, so this is the last day that I'm going to vlog. Um, so I just worked from 9 until 4, so... 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 hours. We're going to have another snowstorm tomorrow into the following day. So I need to run to Giant Tiger and get a couple things. Let me show you guys a couple things that I picked up. So over the past week, you guys saw my other grocery haul. Um, I still have things left from that, of course. But since there's a snowstorm coming... Who knows how long I'm going to be snowed in for again. Because just last week, I was snowed in for three days. So I just wanted to go grab a couple more snacks just to be prepared. I still have a bunch of fruit. I still have a bunch of vegetables. And I have canned goods. So um, I wanted to get snacks. So I was running low on my fruit cups. So I picked up two packs of mandarin oranges here's and here's the second pack you guys saw that i picked up bread last week but i wanted to get one more loaf just in case i want to make tuna sand just in case the power goes out and, and i need to eat tuna sandwiches i have so much cans of tuna i did not have to get any more so i can either eat tuna sandwiches or peanut butter sandwiches or peanut butter and jam sandwiches so i'm stocked up on bread okay so you guys know miss vicky's has spicy dill pickle and i really do like miss vicky's but when i was at giant tiger i saw the giant tigers brand these must be new because i did not know they had these and I hope they're as good as the Miss Vicky's. But if they're not, it's okay. It was only $1.97. So, whatever. And, yeah. I'm going to be snacking on these. 
during the snowstorm so i really need to hold my composure and i cannot open these yet <laughs> and then also i picked up some mr noodles i did have three in my i had four in my cart but i said i still have some noodles at home so i just got one when i was a kid i used to just eat these raw so if the power goes out and I want a crunchy snack, I'm gonna eat some, I'm gonna eat some of these. In the store, I thought this was strawberry lemonade, but I'm home now and just realizing, and I'm just realizing it's raspberry lemonade. Hopefully I like it, cause I don't really like raspberry like that, but it has lemonade in it. So hopefully the lemonade will make it better. I had to get some more fruit punch. Um, I took, I already bought one of these at Walmart last week and i took it to my cousins and it's gone so i wanted to have this in the house so if you guys are watching if you guys are watching from the states you guys probably already know about these but i went to giant tiger and i was looking through the snack section and i could not make my mind up because there was just so many things to choose from I am not much of a pastry or baked good type of girl, but there are certain things, there are certain cakes, there are certain donuts and stuff that I do like. You guys know about the flakies, the a caramels, the um, half moons, and the Joe Louis, right? My favorite out of all those um, I don't even know how to pronounce this brand. Vachon? Vashon? So, out of like the Flakies, the A Caramels, and the Joe Louis, and the Twinkies and everything like that, that they carry, I only liked the, I only liked the Joe Louis and the A Caramels. But, when my mom would buy them, she would either buy only Joe Louis, or she would only buy Flakies, or she would only buy the A Caramels. And the A Caramels were good, but I always felt like they needed more caramel in them. So when I went to Giant Tiger, I couldn't believe my eyes. I had to double t I had to do a double take. Let me show you what they have now. Joe Louie and the A Caramel combined. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous for me. Are you kidding? This is this is a dream come true. If I was a kid, oh my god, I'd be screaming. <laughs> After supper. I'm gonna have to come back on here and do a taste test. This is a freaking dream. Because honestly, when I was in Giant Tiger, I was looking at the Ad Caramels and the Joe Louis. I was like, which one do I want? Because they're both my favorite. Then I was looking some more and I came across these. So now I don't have to make my mind up because I get two in one. Are you kidding me? So let me get my supper started. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Traditional naan bread, garlic naan bread. I already had pepperoni. So I'm gonna do pizza. I'm gonna do a naan bread pizza like I said. So I'm gonna put, and I have pizza sauce. So I'm gonna spread the pizza sauce on the naan bread. And then I'm going to put the pepperoni on. I have my mushrooms because I love mushrooms on pizza. I'm going to dice some red onions and put that on. And I have shredded cheese. So I think it's going to be really good. I've never tried a non-bread pizza. I've only tried the English muffin mini pizzas.
I almost forgot to show you guys before I sliced it. So it smells good and it looks good. So I'm just gonna let this sit until it cools down. So I literally forgot that I was supposed to test these for y'all. Good thing I remember, so let's open them. So it's time to open them. They look exactly like the Ad Caramels. <laughs> they look exactly like the Ad Caramels. So if somebody was just to pass this to me, I'd be like, oh, it's an Ad Caramel. Smells like an Ad Caramel. Look at that. There we go. So. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? It tastes more it tastes more like an Ad Caramel, but then you also get that Joe Louis aftertaste. Overall, it is good. I taste more of the Ad Caramel rather than the Joe Louis, but it's still a really good idea to combine the two. I enjoyed it, and it's really... It's a nice little switch up. If some people don't like Joe Louis, they can get the regular at Caramels. But if there's people who like the Joe Louis, then get the combination. So if you like Joe Louis and at Caramel, buy the Fusion. If you don't, just stick to the regular. But it's really cool to just bite into it and know that it's a Joe Louis as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.